this. I highly doubt, or there may be, Lionel fans on this channel. Don't know. But this is 2025 from 1947, which is pretty rare. Not because it's the first year of production for this Lionel 262 Prairie Pennsylvania locomotive. But after doing a little bit of research, um, I found out that it's also rare from the guy I bought it from. Because it has a nickel stack. Now this type of locomotive was made from 1947 to 1952. Uh, pretty old for most of you folks who are watching. It's got a very nice set of wheels, which are, as can be seen on this side, the Baldwin print type. And that are, like, you know, kind of cool. Anyways, they've got really nice patterns. If I turn it up to the light. Oh, whatever, it's going off the rails. Ooh, there we go. You can see they've got this nice Baldwin type loco here. It's got very nice detail. It's got very nice rods and all this. But the thing that makes this rare is that in 1947, in the early, early stages of production, they were making a certain kind of this locomotive. A quote-unquote rare-ish. It's pretty expensive to some people, but I bought this train for 70 bucks. So, so you know, maybe not that rare. But anyways, you might have noticed that on most Lionel locomotives, if you look up Lionel locomotives, they have black smokestacks. But this one in this case has an aluminum smokestack. Pretty freaky, huh? So this was during the first half of 1947 and some of Christmas 1947. They made these. Obviously the first year of production for it, but they had aluminum smokestacks. It wasn't a part of the die, the die yet, the cast here. So they just added it on as aluminum, kind of like the bells. The bells are made of nickel too, so... They're both aluminum and nickel. So, some of these are nickel, some of these are aluminum. I'm not too sure with this one. Also, if you notice from the intro and the video, this whistle is a little bit ratchety. This one is actually cleaner. But, this one runs better. I only have it at 14, and it's running amazingly. Well, however... This one over here, if you run it at 14, the 2020 from 1946, the previous year. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, uh, it's got a very nice concealed, like, as I call it, a decoration switch. I don't know the proper name yet. But when you flip it this way, no matter what you do, it will go in reverse, which is not what it's supposed to do. As you can see, it unravels sometimes when it goes in reverse. Anyways, back to the point. It's 1947. It's very cool. And for Christmas this year, which is in a month, I'm going to call it my next amazing video. Uh, there will be an ultimate setup. And like half the junk in my room is gone. So anyways, I also got that steamer trunk. Very cool. I filled it with all my trains so that people don't really know. And, uh, yeah, that's really it for today. Uh, so, enjoy the derailed locomotive and this locomotive. If I'm able to get them to do a double header, then I will post it.